Hi everyone, I'm just coming on to do a video to show you everything that I have made uh, while taking part in Christmas in July. Um, I don't normally do Christmas in July, never have, I don't really do Christmas, um, but I have absolutely loved Christmas in July this year. Um, I think it's a wonderful crafty community that I've become a part of, um, the collaborators that I've worked with and also the gorgeous doodle bug paper that I've been working with. So um, yeah, I've, I've absolutely loved it and I wanted to put this video together just to show you everything that I have made um, because I have been doing a Christmas in July collaboration which was hosted by Leslie Bromfield and so I've made things that I've done for that collaboration and also I've been crafting along with um, PHA um, which is a Facebook group Paper Hoarders Anonymous uh, which is um, Christiane's Crafty Adventures group and we've been posting on Instagram as well uh, pictures of things that they were making so <clears throat> at first I was worried that the two would clash but actually they complemented each other so much that I was able to make so much stuff than I would normally do, especially in a short amount of time. I just, I think this method is, is spot on. So the first thing that um, the PHA group were doing was making embellishments and that set the tone off perfectly. So I was able to just make lots of die cuts and embellishments. So um, I was able to use them on the actual projects that I've made. So um, for the collaboration, we did, um, the first one was bag toppers, then it was tags, then it was gingerbread, then cards, and then finally a Christmas scene. Um, for PHA, we were making um, embellishments, and then we were moving on to bag toppers, um, tags and gift bags and then we're making um, cards and gift gift card holders now that's something that I wasn't able to make the gift card holders I made some but it just went all wrong so I scrapped that off <laughs> so that's an, that's something for me to learn in the coming weeks and then also the final one was to make a um, journal or like a December daily or um, you know a notebook or something like that so um, as you can see I have made tons so I'm just gonna get in now quickly and start showing you what I've made and I'll start down here with the rosettes so here I just made a load of rosettes and the collection that I was using is in doodle bugs winter wonderland so here is the first rosette and I made this one using um, vellum and I love it so much and I use the stickers from the collection and I also have the digital download um, for the icons so here's another one I used uh, again on vellum and I'm also using my own die cut so I used a candy cane I've used a lot of paper as well from my stash like this um, like glittery sort of it's holographic glitter so it's not like glitter it's so, it's smooth but it's like shines like glitter uh, just using lots of um, little flowers to add to it um, I cut these leaves out in vellum as well just some rolled flowers again something that I wasn't able to do but I challenged myself these buttons are gorgeous they actually came with the winter wonderland kit um, so yes, that's another vellum one and then um, I made these ones Which I absolutely love and if you can see over, I actually put one up on the house um, I used the that fancy die um, that Everyone's been using and again, I did I actually made this in vellum. So it's, it's so sturdy And I made another one like that then I made these little rosettes and these are just making um, two bows but it kind of looks like a, like a ribbon that you would put on the top of a present. Again using a button that came with the collection. So I made two more of them. 
and they're so cute. And then I made some um, character rosettes. Now I only have one left because I've used quite a few of these on projects, but I just love this little mousse. It's so cute and here with his little um, frosty coffee or um, frost drink, I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I really, really like them. Okay, so here I've made a few little cards. So here I've made using these uh, mason jar embellishments. And then on the back, I actually laminated some iridescent sprinkles um, and then cut them into squares for the backing. And I like them. And then just very simple inside, a bit holographic paper and white card. So these are three by three cards. So I made a few of these as well, uh, just using, like I said, the embellishments that I'd already made, which worked out perfectly. And I've got some with Harry, and I just put a little uh, bit of glitter in his uh, fur there. So I loved how these turned out. I, said, I did make three, but I've actually put one inside a project. And I also challenged myself and I made some easel cards and it's the first time I ever made any easel cards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to link um, videos to any tutorials that I did use. So this was a Sam uh, Carcott um, tutorial um, that I followed um, to make this easel card and it was actually quite simple. Um, so that I actually embellished this with one of the rosettes that I made and then just added some flowers, paper. And then here at the back is another uh, one of my laminated sheets that I used with some uh, cellophane wrap in to create the polka dots which kind of looks like a bit like snow. So I made that one and this one and they're, they're all easel cards, they all pull out like that and then they have room for writing there as well. So this was another um, rosette one and then just putting some of these little dew drops on and flowers just to tie it together. Then this one I made using um, a shaker, which I filled with seed beads, so it didn't rattle too much like sequins would, um, but still gave it that shaker element. So I made two of them. So they were the cards that I made. <laughs> then over here I made um, four gift bags. So these gift bags, I love them. They're so sturdy. Um, and the tutorial that I watched, uh, like I said, I will link down below, but you can make them in all sizes, so that's fantastic. But I decided to make these, and I think I think I made the um, the six inch bag, so um, it was just the right size for me. Then on the edges, I actually went round and I um, used foam tape just to give it a little uh, pop, so it looks like it's folded over because what's actually folded over is white paper because it's not double-sided um, and here is one of the gingerbreads that I made as part of the collaboration and I love this um, candy cane stick I actually used um, Fabri-Tac glue on a piece of foam board and this this candy cane was like the insert the in, inside bit of this candy cane uh, where it hollows out to make the shaker and um, I used fabric tac glue and then I stuck on some uh, sprinkles that I got from AliExpress and then I used my glossy accents to go over it and it's giving this like hard candy look and I absolutely love this so much and I didn't really use that many sprinkles but it does look like I've used loads so I like that as well um, so he's got his little pot of coffee mug and he's off out so I love that um, inside I've made some uh, bag toppers. So these are the bag toppers that I made. And I don't have any fancy dice, so I've just basically folded over card and done a um, edge punch on them. And then I have just decorated them with the collection paper and then I just added bits of mine. So here the ribbon, that's from the collection as well. Um, yeah, and I just I just love these. I just absolutely love the colours of this collection. It's so cute. Um, here's a little gnome that's um, a die of mine. I use my name, I think, probably in every single project because I do love my name so much. And I just love this. I love the gnome with his little bunnies. 
and then here's Harry again. I'm I'm obsessed with Harry. Um, I think he's the he's the one that <laughs> sold the collection to me. So closely followed by everything else. <laughs> so here's some of the little mooses. So adorable. I made these flowers. Some, there's some dyes and added the buttons, the dew drops, and the enamel dots. I've also gone around and just added a few of these iridescent sparkles just to keep it all glistening and then I love this this is um, quite a larger one because I've used this ice skate die and then this polar bear as well so that was it for the um, bag toppers so pop them away otherwise I might end up with a avalanche of Christmas going on and then in this little bag so here is another little um gingerbread embellishment that i made it's a little girly she's got a little christmas hat on um, i did these enamel dots that have got some sprinkle like sparkles in for like they look like um gumdrops when i saw them and uh, there's some of them iridescent dots as well that i put on and then i used the dew drops to make it look like bubbles in the little uh, drink so uh, yeah, I really liked how that one turned out. So these are a couple of embellishments that I've used. Like I said, some of them are being used on projects. So here's some little um, bows that I made. And then I, I did the ribbon that came with the collection. Um, the underneath the, like, the lacy part, that's um, like the glitter paper there. That's my, that's my stash but this top one is from the collection and then I just added like a cluster um, of a flower, an iridescent dot and um, a dew drop. So I made a couple of those. So I really love these and they're so, they're so cute just to pop onto a project. And then um, I made some more embellishments. Uh, so I made more of these um, mason jars and these were the ones that I put on the 3x3 three three card like that. and then I made some shake ones so I made a couple of these and oh, got some loose stickers about um, so these are shaker ice skates and and uh, I've never been able to create shakers and then I found out about foam board um, from uh, Bex Crafts so life life change that was so now I'm able to create these shakers and I absolutely love them to bits so that was one ice skate shaker that I made and then I made these um, bottles as well again I did the dewdrops to look like bubbles still love these characters they're so cute and I just went over them with a bit of glossy accents on this these ones as well just to still add that Christmas shine and I did the same with her little uh, nose area so these are all shakers you see the, the shaker in there I just love it it's so cute so cute so they were the remainder of the shaker embellishments that i made um there and then in this one i made some um banners so these can just be popped onto projects i made these two that i've got these um dangles on so i did like this white flower a little rabbit and this white shooting star I made them little banners and then I made a quite a few of these but I only have these two left now just little um, vellum folding onto a, some layered card um, I did the buttons and the enamel dots just to just to keep it looking and then I made these larger ones so I didn't actually have any the words with the collection, um, which was my mistake. So I used got out my my thickers and um, just created my own. And uh, luckily, I had 
that colour. So I've got Xmas. Merry again using these embellishments that I've been making. So there's a candy cane one as well. Um got Burr. <laughs> it's cold. I can imagine him saying that. Oh no me. And then winter. I love these iridescent stickers. And then another gnome off with his skis. I was going to chill. So they are the um, banners that I made. And like I said, you can just pop them onto projects quick and easy. It's all embellished, it's all ready to go. And then finally, uh, in here we have um, a couple of the, embellish the gingerbread embellishments. So here's what I have left over. So I've got this one. This was a giant mitten. But I thought it looked like a um, oven glove, especially with this little gingerbread. And I found this uh, whisk dye in my stash. This bow kind of reminded me of an apron, which was so cute. And then I actually got this dye the, that morning, and I had to play with it. And so I thought it was it was making this cake on the cake stand that sort of pulled everything together. So I really liked that. And I, again, I used this acetate that I made using my laminated pouches. So I've got one of her left and then I got this one. Um so I made like this little gingerbread house I guess and she's a little gingerbread chef. So I really really like them and then I made tags so I used this um Santa tag and I absolutely love him unfortunately I lost his ears so I don't think you really see them that much but you could cut around it if you needed to. Um, I added a button and a um, snowflake instead of a pom-pom. Um, but I really like how these turned out. And I actually stamped his eyes for the first time. I got a stamp and I, I think they've turned out so cute. So I made a couple of them. Again, just added a couple of these iridescent dots just to make everything shine. And then I made a couple of these little tags. Again, I got my first ever tag die, so I was dead excited. I had to use it. And I did them sort of like a like a tag split. So it's got like an extra bit sticking out the side. So I thought it was cute. Little snowman tags. So I made a couple of them. Ooh. And then I made a larger one with the polar bear, like that. And then I made these um, acetate see-through ones. So here's Harry. So it's like double backed. And I put used these stickers from the collection in the middle. And then here at the top, I actually bent a brad over and attached the ribbon so that the, the tag can swing. So I made a couple of those using these stickers and I just love that you can see through them I mean they are more decorative tags you'd probably hang them on the tree rather than uh, put them on a gift because there's nowhere to write your name um, so that was the tags that I made let's move them out of the way uh, then for like the Christmas scene, I actually created this. That was on a separate video, so I won't go too much into detail. But I did make this um, beautiful Christmas tree, which was an idea that popped into my head during um, one of Christiane's uh, lives. Um, she was showing us how to make these um, rosettes and we found that it makes a gigantic one, which I think is six inches, and then I went I went down every half an inch and made and then what I did was with the with the bit that was cut off I cut to um, half an inch and just rolled it up and then stuck it in between to look like the tree trunk um, and topped it with a star so yeah that's the final one I think the final one um, was I think it was half an inch so it made a one inch I think or oh, one and a half inch and then these boxes underneath are just hollow um, boxes, just to just to give it some stability to stand up. But anyway, moving on. This is the house, and this house is actually the house that I built during um, the tutorial. 
um, on how to build the uh, 3D house box and I have fully decorated it now so it's all decorated all the flowers are on there the snow I used the rosette and then iridescent drops on the wind and the windows I eat one of them banners on the top and again I just went to town with the snow and then up here at the top you can see the two Harrys they're chilling and giving us a wave um, but then inside I have actually made my very first um, folio and I use this, um, did this make using a, a Rosa Kelly um, tutorial so again I'm going to link everyone's um, tutorials in the description box. I used one of my bag toppers because it was like completely the right length and I've used a magnet to close it so it shuts with a magnet and I have made it a little bit more chunky than I wanted to but and um, that's me. <laughs> uh, so here I've added one of the cards here and then just embellish a little bit and open up fully inside. You can see I've added one of my shaker skates. Um, when this lifts up, I'm going to have to just lift you up. Um, I've got one of the tags here which is a tuck spot as well. And then here I've got a spot for journaling and um, some I've created tuck spots with these uh, cable cars and some more spots. I did one of my gingerbreads and some more little tuck spots there. Then here at the bottom these are just waterfall cards and I've just added um, some stickers on every other one. So you can add photos there and then I've left this blank so you can do the writing and then on this side um, I've added one of them rosettes again and, that's, and then this flips out and I've created a pocket where I've added some of these blank die spots but you, you know die cuts so you can write on the back another journaling spot there then this flips up I've got a journaling spot here and then two journal, a journal spot here and then finally a journal spot there so oh and then <laughs> i also decorated this part here as well with uh, one of them other the gingerbread people so um i absolutely love this. this is the first time i'm making um a folio and using um a magnet enclosure as well and um, so i absolutely love doing that and i can't wait to fill it out with um, this year's Christmas with the kids I think it's going to be fabulous and I can just keep it safe in the little house so I know this has been quite um, a long video and um, so thank you for sticking with me if you have done so um, if you like what I've made and you want to continue to follow me please subscribe please uh, like and comment and um, I really love hearing from you all and um, yeah so Thank you so much for watching again and uh, see you. Bye.